Welcome to Saturday Story Circle, always on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. Welcome to Kids Just Want to Have Fun. I'm Tim. If you like this podcast, tell your friends and family to listen in. We can find delicious pizza in the USA. There's no doubt about that. But did you know one in eight Americans will bite into a slice of za every day? Now, did you also know there are over 78,000 pizzerias in the USA? Before we cut into the top five pizzas in the USA, here's our first joke. What does a pizza say when it introduces itself to you? Slice to meet you! What do you like on your pizza? Sausage, pepperoni, mushroom, maybe pineapple? and so many more toppings. Wait till you hear what some of the top pizzas have on them. You'll be like, what? Okay, now before we get started, spoiler alert, no Pizza Hut, no DiGiorno's, no Papa John's, and no Domino's pizzas are on the list. These are wonderful, delicious, handmade pizzas. And here's pizza number five, the D. Schroeder from Via 313. Now, it's made out of a customized trailer in Austin, Texas, and brothers Zane and Brandon Hunt have brought a slice of Detroit to the Lone Star State. The Detroiter Pizza features two types of pepperoni and two types of cheeses baked in an upcycled rectangular auto part pan. Customers dig the deep dish pies and extra crispy cheesy crust. Number four, white clam pie. Yep, clam pie from Frank Pepe Pizzeria and Napolitona. Frank Pepe's in New Haven, Connecticut, has been making pizzas for more than 90 years. Their white clam pie, invented in the 1950s, is their signature pie. It's the pie that made them famous. Every day, 700 pounds of fresh cherry stone clams are shucked and cleaned. The pizzeria also uses specially milled flour and coal-fired ovens, both of which set the pies apart from the rest. Why did the delivery guy invite himself in to eat pizza? He wanted a slice of the action. Number three, Pizza Margarita from Una Pizza Napolitona. Owner Anthony McGallery does everything by himself and by hand and his authentic Neapolitan pizzeria in San Francisco. He imports all of his ingredients from Italy to make his pizza margarita, which features buffalo mozzarella which is actually a cheese made from the milk of Italian Mediterranean buffaloes. He adds a pinch of sea salt, fresh basil, and extra virgin olive oil. It's baked in an Italian-made wooden fire oven. Mm -mm -mm. Number two, Italian sausage pan pizza from Pequod's Pizza. Pequod's Pizza in Chicago has been making the great deep dish pizza since the 1970s, and owner Keith Jackson is keeping it that way. The Italian sausage pizza starts with layers of cheeses, then sauce, and finally sausage. The caramelized crust of the cheese around the edge of the cast iron pan creates what the restaurant calls a halo of goodness. What did the teacher say about the pizza student? He had mushroom for improvement. And now that brings us to the number one pizza in the USA. The pizza is a mushroom and pepperoni pie from Totono's Pizzeria, Napolitano. Antoinette Belzano and Luis Cookie Simmermani, the current owners of Totono's in Brooklyn, keep their grandfather's pizza recipe secret. They won't even show the dough being made. What we do know is that their most popular pizza is topped with mozzarella, pepperoni, fresh mushrooms, sauce, and a dusting of Parmesan cheese, and add a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil before going into a coal-fired oven. Oh, doesn't that sound delicious? Well, there you have it. 
top five pizzas in the USA. If you enjoy the podcast, please share with your friends and family. For kids just want to have fun, I'm Tim. Please remember to smile because they are free and everyone loves them. If you want a huge selection of audio drama, some of the newest ones out there as they come out, then do find Sunday Showcase on the Mutual Audio Network, which is the new home of the Sonic Society, the world's longest-running, largest showcase of modern audio drama. You can find us on the Sunday Showcase feed, or if you want to hear all of the day's worth of audio, then you can find it on the main Mutual Audio Network feed, wherever you get your podcasts. The Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together.